Hi guys, greetings to you all, whatever you may be listening. Why will Peter Obi be at that match between the Super Eagles and uh, South Africans? <laughs> Why will he be there when Nigeria is burning, is sinking, people crying, pains everywhere, hunger in the land? You know, why will he be there? That is what some people are saying. Definitely, you can guess the people saying this thing. They said that Shebi the obedience were the one saying that uh, uh, the president Tinibu was in South Africa watching match. Eh? That what is Pitobi doing there too? Was he not there watching the match as well? <laughs> but they forgot that Pitobi is not the president. What can he do? You know, he cannot do anything. He's not the president. He cannot give orders. So it is the president who was in France, though he's back now. He was there watching March while the country was busy. Sinking. The country was sinking by the day. Kidnapping, headsmen, buying people left and right, fear in the land. You know, what, 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 you know the people are just helpless. Hunger, prices of things shooting high. Wow. Then what happened next? They said, why will he be there? Is he the president? He's trying to, to act like he's the president. Is the president supposed to be there? The president supposed to be there. So what happened? The vice president himself have to now go there, Shetima. He has to go there himself to watch the match. <laughs> then something happened. When the Super Eagles won the match, Omo see jubilation everywhere. And the crowd, all of them, they were busy singing. Obi kerereke, obi kerereke, obi kerereke. You know, but <laughs> it did not go well with the vice president because he thought people would be shouting, Jagaban, Jagaban, on your mandate we shall stand. You know, nobody was shouting Jagaban there. Though you know that now that the Super Eagles are making the country proud, the APC will say it is their own doing. This is the renewed hope they are talking about. It's, it's already starting from that side, football. <laughs> well, football is not a business. So all we want to see is a better Nigeria. Where there will be light, good route, security. Eh? Why are people trying to confuse us with football? Okay, guys. I will show you guys the video. But I'm wondering. This one that the vice president was embarrassed. People were singing the praise of the obedience, you know, that they are, that they are popular song, the obedience songs, Obi Kerenke, you know, <laughs> are you sure that those players are going to get their money or they are going to suffer them a bit or maybe the kind of gift they could have given them, maybe land gifts, whatever kind of gifts, do you know, do you think that uh, they will end up giving it to them <laughs> because some of them too were singing the Obi Kerenke and they were dancing, all right guys, because Obi, the, Obi, Obi, wait, Obi was there. <laughs> flesh and blood okay guys i will um play you guys a video and also you will hear um what uh singer portable also said portable portable credits to portable as well he says something so i'll play the one of the vice president um and then portable okay please like share subscribe <laughs> Yeah, 
of life you know um all of a sudden they have all forgotten that there's problem in the country <laughs> you see why politicians will never take us serious eh they want to confuse people in fact they have already succeeded eh the super egos are doing well because of the new president when the former one was there what happened they crashed like nonsense well it's all good yeah it's good let them keep uh, making us proud but that is not the problem of nigeria after all the money they'll be making is for them it's not for us it's for them the players and their family members nigerians you know the the normal regular nigerians will still continue in their suffering mm, by the way i even heard that the court has said that the federal government should should regulate the prices of things milk bread sugar bicycle spare parts okada spare parts car spare parts oil mm, petrol gas whatever they should reduce the prices price control whatever uh, you know those uh, sector in Nigeria that controls price. They should go and trash the prices down. Ah, what is it? Marketers are just increasing prices by the day. Eh? Any small thing, you you buy something just na 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 na. You go back after five hours, the price have increased. What is increasing the price? Nobody knows. They say dollar is high. Once they hear that dollar is high, they just go and increase their own price. Meanwhile, these are things they already have in their in their store, even like six months ago, even one year ago. They have the products there long ago. So the moment they keep hearing dollar is high, they just increase price. Dollar is high, they just increase price. What's changed in their in their store? Nothing have changed. It's still the same goods they have been selling. So well, it's good. That one is good. I hope good the government will um, move to trash all these prices down. You know. Mm -hmm. So well, it's okay. So please, uh, people should stop saying Obi should should have been in Nigeria to do what in Nigeria. He's not the president. Or all of a sudden they just forgot. <laughs> or they are confused. It's like they are confused. They are think they are they are taking uh, Peter B to be the to be the president of Nigeria all of a sudden. Wow, wow. Well, they should know that Peter B is trying to build his portfolio, his profile. Coming next election, I think 2027, definitely. That's why he's surfacing everywhere. He has to be there so that people will know that yes, he's identifying with the people. Mm -hmm. Everywhere, only everywhere things are happening. He has to be there. So I think it's just politics is also playing right there because they said he was never popular. People don't know him. So it's, now he's trying to make people know him. People will say he even bribed those fans. Eh? He bribed those people there <laughs> to, to, to sing his praise once they, they win the match. Well, <laughs> you know, once it is politics, they can manufacture anything. Anything goes. So the vice president was there. I think he was totally embarrassed. Because they should have been singing Jagaban, Jagaban, or singing their national item, uh, item uh, on your Monday we shall stand Jagaban, on your Monday we shall stand Jagaban, on your Monday, on your Monday, <laughs> on your Monday. They are tired of of standing on the Monday. Their legs are weak. They don't want that one anymore. That's why they are singing Obi Kerere. At least let them be useful with their legs now. Let them dance with their legs. Because standing on that mandate, for how long will they stand on the mandate? They are tired of standing. Even standing with one leg is, is, is over. The one leg is even shaking. In fact, most of them is now, they, have, they don't want to stand anymore. <laughs> well, it's okay. Oh. It's okay. Oh, okay, you, you are still standing on, your, on the mandate. Keep standing there. Poverty will finish you and you will fall down. Mm? Well, you know I'm saying it. I can bet you too that in the next three years coming before they round up their four years nigeria will not be better you don't need a prophet to tell you that nigeria will not be better anytime soon <laughs> where, where are the investors 
Nigeria is not producing anything. We are still importing, consuming nation, consuming what other people have produced. We keep buying them, consuming them. So what we change? So we're not making anything. We're not making money. Other countries are busy making money with us. There's no light. Hmm? There's no good road, no security. So investors will be leaving. People will be scared of even investing in the country. Yes. Who would like to invest where, where there's no security? Can you go and invest in Somalia as it is now? Can you go to Sudan as it is now that is boiling to go and invest? No way. So you see, just use those countries as example. Can you take your hard-earned cash and go in those countries, Sudan, uh, Somalia, to go and invest? You can't. Or you go to uh, uh, where, 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 where? Uh, Ukraine to go and invest. Eh? Or Gaza. <laughs> Palestine. All right, guys. So tell me your thoughts in the comment section. I am yours ever truly chi. Mm, super eagles. Well, congratulations to them. Mm, the money will be big, big now in their pockets. That's why they are jubilating. They are jubilating because they are going to be more richer, more richer by the day. And South Africans, carry your bag and go. I hope you guys have washed your uniform. <laughs> People say that. South Africans will not give Nigerians visa. Now we'll be saying Nigeria, don't trash them. If you apply for visa during this period, <laughs> you'll be getting rejection, 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 rejection. <laughs> because it's so painful. They never believed it. They never believed it. All right, guys. So tell me your thoughts in the 